Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the One UI 2.0 beta number three for the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus. And I do want to let you know that both of these Samsung smartphones are in fact the international version, both of them unlocked. So let's go to the settings real quick. I'm going to show you exactly what's happening over here. Uh, if I go all the way down and go to about phone on each one of these phones, go to software information. And as you can see, we're running Android 10 with One UI 2.0 on both of these smartphones. And if I tap on this one here, you can have these things and you can move these guys around. Same thing on this one. Okay, so let's uh, go inside and see what's new with One UI 2.0 beta number three. So let's go to the settings real quick. Okay, so I'm going to scroll all the way down. Again, I'm going to go into my software update. And here's the latest update, which was today. Now, if I tap on this one, it's going to expand and give me a full list of all the bug modifications that were applied to this brand new update. And of course, the overall smoothness and fluidity of the whole uh, phone has enhanced, has been enhanced on both of smartphones, but they did fix a lot of bugs and now the phone is much closer to the final version. So we had some serious problems such as not being able to see the SD card contents in the My Files application that's been fixed. We had some problems with the screen off memo that's been fixed as well. And if you actually performed a video call, uh, for some reason after you ended that video call, the lock screen color scheme changed for no reason. So what you can do is you can pause the video and read the full list of all the bugs that were squashed so the phone is much more stable now and bug free. And if, you, if I scroll down just a little bit, you've got even more. Here we have another batch uh, of fixes that were uh, addressed in this brand new release. Now I'll let you know the beta number three on the Note 10 is equal to almost beta six and beta seven on the Galaxy S10. So this is closer to the final version, closer than you think. Now let me just uh, quickly go to my settings here. Now as you can see on this phone, I have the full screen gestures. And as I do the full screen gestures, everything is uh, super smooth. So let me launch a couple applications. Just take a look at the apps, the way they launch. So I'm gonna tap on the phone application. It launches real nice and smooth. When I pull this up, everything is nice and smooth. Uh, in the previous beta, beta number two, and of course the beta number one, there was some stutters, some stability issues, but this one is just smooth as butter, as you can see, and I'm loving it. So let me launch this one right here. So that's great. So let's do the same thing over here. With this one, I still have the buttons. So let's go to the settings, go to my uh, display, and I'll show you one thing real quick. In the display, if you go to screen mode, uh, as opposed to One UI 2.0, you do have a new little graphic right here. So the white balance graphic has been fully enhanced and you also have the advanced settings right over here. So this is something brand new to One UI 2.0 that you'll be seeing on your smartphones. But let's scroll down and go to my navigation bar. And from here, I'm gonna go to full screen gestures. Again, I'm gonna tap on more, which is gonna be this one right here, okay? Now they do have to update the graphics a little bit over here. They, they did mess up the graphics. Uh, but as far as the navigation goes, that's what we're doing, okay? So again, I wanna show you guys how smooth and nice it is working. Look at the bouncing effects right there. Look at the bouncing effect, real nice and smooth. When I go home, boom, goes right back. Now, one really cool thing with the One UI 2.0 that a lot of people haven't shown is if you pinch the screen, all right, if you go to the widgets, uh, there is a brand new clock widget that is extremely customizable. So let me swipe over. Where's that clock widget? This, it should be somewhere right around here. There we go. We tap on the clock. So let me just grab this clock. I'm going to dump it on the actual screen and see what happens. I'm going to dump it. It gives me a customization screen from which I can pick different clocks. Okay, you have all these various designs. And let's tap on that one. I can go to black or I can go to white and I can change the background transparency as you can see. And I can also match it with the dark mode if I enable the dark mode. When I'm done, I go back out. Boom, it's gonna show up right there the way you want it. Now real quick, let me show you the dark mode thing I'm talking about. So if I tap on the widgets, uh, let me just go back to the clock. Let's just grab one more, uh, put it right here, okay? And let's uh, say uh, white, we're gonna do white, we're gonna go like this, and then I'm gonna go back out. So we have a white clock and a black clock. Now if I go over here and if I swipe over, and if I enable the dark mode, take a look at what happens to the widgets. So they match up. So this one, this is already black, so it's not gonna go dark with the dark mode, but this one is going to go dark when you enable 
the actual dark mode. So that is fantastic. All righty. So that's fantastic. Another thing that I like with the uh, with the uh, the One UI 2.0 is the folders. So when I tap on the folders, it expands like this. And then when you tap on this button here, you can see a real time preview of the color that you're adding to that actual folder. You can tap on this one, go for even more colors, and it gives you a real time. And when you tap it, it goes away nice and smooth. Uh, same on this one here, they're the same. One UI 2.0 beta number three. But I'll let you know, there really isn't anything new that has been added. Mostly we have stability enhancements, so the phone is smoother, more fluid, and of course we have a lot of bugs that were squashed, so this phone is simply uh, much better. It doesn't give you as many errors, there's less crashes, but as you can see, as far as the smoothness factor is concerned, it's nice and fast, no problem. And let's go home. But uh, if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. And I will also drop a link down below to the official roadmap for your Samsung Galaxy Note 10 to get the One UI 2.0. Most of that is happening in January and February depending on which country you are at. But I'll drop a log down below. So just click the link and go see if your phone is getting One UI 2.0 and when it is getting it. But that's it for this video, guys. Uh, just uh, like I said, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button. And also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.